subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. So now we are going to look at this question on uh, derivatives of function. So uh, we are given a function which is a difference of two uh, step functions one ut and uh, this one step, shifted step function ut minus a. You are required to find the derivative of this function. So firstly I am going to just sketch this function then I am going to find the derivative and sketch the derivative also. See this ut, see uh, magnitude of both the steps, size of both the steps is 1 only. So basically this is going to be a pulse, okay. We have seen this right. This ut is going to begin at t is equal to 0 with a size of 1. And till t is equal to a we are going to have this step of 1 size. At t is equal to a we are having a step of minus 1 which means that final value of the function is going to be 0. So this is how this xt is going to look like. Uh, also we are given that a is greater than 0 so that means that we are going to have a pulse on the positive side of t axis. right? So this is how this xt is going to look like. Now see when I try to differentiate this function x dash t I am going to have u dash t minus u dash t minus a. Now we know that differentiation of this unit step function is going to give us impulse function. So u dash t is going to be del t minus u dash t minus a c this shift is not going to make any effect to the derivative of the function. Even if this function is shifted it is still going to be a unit uh, impulse function only. If the uh, time axis was scaled, suppose we had some constant with this t argument in this argument, then we would have applied the properties of unit impulse afterwards. But for now, we are just going to have del t minus a. If I just try to sketch this, this is an impulse of size 1 at t is equal to 0, impulse of size minus 1 at t is equal to a. Okay, so this is how x dash t is going to look like. Okay, from graph or itself you can see directly there was a discontinuity at t is equal to 0. First discontinuity occurred at t is equal to 0. So we had an impulse of size, size of discontinuity was 1. So we had an impulse of area 1 at t is equal to 0. Next discontinuity occurred at t is equal to a of size minus 1. This, this value change was minus 1. So next we had an impulse at t is equal to a of size area minus 1. Okay, so this is how you can obtain this uh, derivative graphically and this is how you can obtain it mathematically and represent it graphically. Okay, uh, just look at the next part now. Uh, so this is similar to the first part only except that we multiplied a t with this pulse. We had a pulse occurring between 0 and a. Now we have multiplied t so this pulse is going to become sawtooth pulse. Why? Because we are multiplying the value with t. Okay, so uh, we are going to differentiate it mathematically first. You know the rule of differentiation, right? You are going to leave this first and differentiate this, then differentiate this and leave this, right? So we will be just following the basic rules. I am leaving t and differentiating this function inside the bracket first. So differentiation of ut, u dash t minus u dash t minus a. We already looked at this in previous part, okay? Uh, next at differentiate t, differentiation of t is going to be 1 into ut minus ut minus a, right. Now differentiation of u da, ut which is going to be del t Now see we know properties of impulse, right? We know the shifting property of impulse, which means that the point of occurrence of this impulse is going to be the value of the function which is multiplied with this, right? Which means, see, this impulse occurred at t is equal to 0. Value of t at t is equal to 0 is going to be 0. So this is going to become something like this. And this is going to become a. So we have studied this property before. We are just using it right now.
okay so this is going to be the derivative of given function now we just have to represent this or we are going to obtain it graphically first and then just check that if the representation is correct uh, firstly I am representing this function xt so basically xt is a line is a line of slope 1 which lies between t is equal to 0 and a So uh, this is how my xt is going to look like. See why? Because uh, already we saw in the previous part that this ut minus ut minus a forms a pulse, forms a pulse uh, of this kind. It formed a pulse of this shape. Now you are multiplying it with t. We are multiplying two functions, multiplying this with t. We are just multiplying these functions. Now we saw this uh, already also that when I am going to multiply this function with this, it is going to exist only between the time limits of 0 and a. This is going to exist only between 0 and a. Now this had value 1. This had values all below 1, below a. Okay. So that is why when you are going to multiply this, we are going to obtain something like this, this sawtooth pulse. Okay. So this xt is going to look like this. Now I am trying to differentiate this xt, I am trying to differentiate it uh, graphically first then we just check if this x dash t is correct or not. First thing that we obtain here, okay the slope of this line is 1, slope of the line was 1. So uh, first thing that I see when I come across this graph is this a straight line, straight line of slope 1. We have seen that when you differentiate a line of slope. Uh, any slope, slope 1, slope m, you are going to obtain its slope. Differentiation of a line gives it slope. So I am going to have the slope of this line between 0 and a, which means from 0 to a, 0 to a, I am going to obtain slope of this line. Okay. What happens at t is equal to a? At t is equal to a, I am having a discontinuity, a step. Differentiation of a step, differentiation of a discontinuity is going to be an impulse function. So I am going to obtain an impulse of area how much a because we had a discontinuity of a. Actually discontinuity of minus a because final value became 0, initially value was a. So I am having a discontinuity of minus a occurring at t is equal to a. So I am going to obtain a impulse of area minus a which occurs at t is equal to a right fine so this is how my graph looks like this is how my x dash t is going to look like now we just check okay see ut we have drawn ut then a discontinuity of minus 1 at t is equal to a we have drawn that and an additional impulse of this is impulse and then okay this is a del t only right impulse of area minus a occurring at t is equal to a right so this is how we are representing x dash t this is how we are doing differentiation of signal uh, we are going to look at one more part from this question so uh, now we are given a signal which is signum t see signum function is a special function uh, we did not discuss about it earlier so first we are going to have a look at this function So what happens in this signum function is this is having value 1 for all positive values of t. Okay, For all positive values of t its value is going to be 1 and for all negative values of t all values of t less than 0 its value is going to be minus 1. Now if you ask about its value at t is equal to 0 it is undefined. Okay, We are not uh, giving its definition uh, its value in the definition. Although we have some ways, see if you just take average of these two values, value at t is equal to 0 is going to be 0, okay. So there are several ways that we can consider value at t is equal to 0. But anyways, this function is defined as 1 for all positive values of t and minus 1 for all negative values of t. So this is a fun uh, special function, signum function. Uh, actually, this is mod function also if you might have heard. Fine. Uh, some of you might have heard about this right mod x when you are just uh, writing its definition you write it as x when x is greater than 0 and minus x when x is less than 0. So this is uh, what this signum function is signifying this mod function this is what uh, this signum function is 
okay so you require to find the derivative of this function see if i just uh, try to represent this function as you can see this consists of steps only so if i just try to represent this function as sum of steps what can i write it as this is a step of minus 1 which is occurring for all the negative values so i can just write it as minus 1 into u of minus t why minus t because this is a flipped function okay this is a flipped function uh, uh, along y axis this is a reverse function of unit step. So I can write this as minus 1 into u of minus t. And this is a step function plus 1 of normal step ut. So this is how you can write this function as. If you just try to differentiate it, what are you going to obtain? Minus del, minus del of minus t plus del t plus del t. Now we have learned that del of minus t is equal to minus del t. So this minus sign comes outside. This becomes del t plus del t which makes it 2 del t. Okay. So when I try to represent its derivative, I am just going to have a impulse of size 2. Impulse of size 2 at t is equal to 0. Otherwise also if you see graphically this function consists of only one discontinuity which occurs at t is equal to 0 and of size 2 only one discontinuity right it's not, not having anything else. So that discontinuity can be represented when you differentiate it it can be represented by impulse of size 2 okay so this is going to be the derivative of this function. Fine, so this is how we are representing, we are finding the derivatives of function. Next we are going to look uh, derivatives and integrals of function in discrete time signals.